Hello everyone, this is James from Mad River Homestead here in Southwest Ohio. Beautiful, sunshiny day. A little bit chilly, but uh, definitely getting nicer. So, getting ready to start on another project. Gonna enlarge our garden. Um, I guess just like there's chicken math, there's garden math. And we've decided we need it to be a little bit bigger than it is. So let me show you what I got going on. So here's the garden as it stands. And uh, what I'm gonna do is take this side and that side and just bring them out a little bit. Uh, probably about 10, 12 feet or so. That's gonna give us a good bit more area. We wanna add in some raspberries this year. Uh, and we wanna give a little more room to things like butternut squash, stuff like that. Rocky is uh, acting like he wants to help. Nope, he's chasing ladies. So uh, anyway, what I'm gonna have to start doing first, I don't have a lot of time today, I'm gonna need to take this gate off and then start taking all the staples out of those posts on either side of the gate, as well as here. So eventually what I'll have is a path from here back to the gate between the two fences. So it should be a really big job. I'm gonna have to put a four by four post right in this area, another one, here, same on the other side. But again, that's just going to give us a lot more room. Probably put a couple more hoop um, uh, trellises like I have back there in that corner, and uh, maybe another raised bed as well. All right, so let me get to it. These are the tools I'll be using to get these staples out have to pound this in, this sharp part underneath the staple, and then just give it a tug. This is a really handy tool putting these clips on these T-posts. I've got a video on how to do that, um, but it's also good for taking them off. So you just put it in this, that hole right there. That's the one I usually end up using because you want to get it through to be able to clear the fence there. Just bend it like this. And then on this one, get it up in there and then this well it's already starting to come off so just get it on out comes right out and it's almost exactly the shape I need for when I reuse it time to go ahead and put these braces on um, all four of these new posts and uh, well first I gotta go get chickens out of this part of the yard all right so the way I do this is first of all I set this down so I'm, I know where it needs to go in the ground. So get that in place. And then I know that this, I need to pound this down in the ground right about here. But over one board foot. Right about there. I like to pre-drill these holes. You want to go at the angle on this one. So it's not going through such a small part of this uh, board here. And then this one, because you're up a little bit, you want to go straight down. So as much of the screw gets into that anchor 
peace as possible. for the others I'll be done with this brace also I didn't show you but the angles on these are well they're 45s um, that's kind of obvious but what I do on these is just cut angles on each side and then I cut a little bit off the, the other sides as well just to kind of make it come to a point so we're going down the ground a little bit easier so I have a little more time so I'm trying to get the fence stretch. I got I got that little piece done the other day, but I'm gonna try to get the fence stretched from here to here, and then from here to here I'll stretch some, and that piece that's that's uh, coiled up, I'll get that to go from here to here. So uh, I did decide. I think when I introduced this video, I said I was gonna keep the old gate and have a little path from there. You know, the more I thought about it, I thought that really doesn't make sense to have some area that's just not usable for anything but a gravel path. So I decided to go ahead and just make it come all the way across. I'll move this out to here and uh, that's the way we're going to do it. So if you look, you'll see that I've got this piece of fence wrapped around here once. That's the best way to do that so you get more coverage on the post. Makes that whole thing stronger. Just in case I haven't shown this before, you want to use these barbed staples. That way they get in there and really grab the wood. Makes it a little tougher to get out, but you can get them out if you need to and then you can reuse them. All right, so I'm back. I got them down the top all the way to the bottom. What I did here, just, you know, if you get there and you get it uh, pretty tight and one side is not tight enough, what I did was just twist and twisted until it was tight enough I could hook it onto that other one. So, all right, let me get to ratcheting this thing. All right, so that's pretty tight. You still have that little bow that comes out, but when I put the, uh, the clips on the T-post, that'll pretty much take that out. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and staple this side before I cut the fence. Obviously, I need to get it anchored, but I wanna staple this side down like really good. I wanna put it every other, every other uh, piece and what I'll do is I will put them as close as I can to that side of this vertical piece. The reason for that is once I have it in there, it'll keep it from slipping back once I uh, loosen this up.
tell me where the line I need to be on. off the other post. Put it on, we'll be good to go. Alright, gate's done, fence is done. This job's done. All right, well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. It's just uh, one of my other projects that I needed to get done. It took me a little while to do it because we had other things come up. We got new goats. We got just a lot of stuff going on. And uh, I have a little problems with the goat that we got yesterday. I may make a video about that, but uh, I'm gonna wait until she's recuperated so I can share that with you. And uh, it was pretty traumatic what happened, but I'll leave it at that. But uh, anyway, you can see the new part. It's about, I've, I've increased the size probably about 30 to 35%. Uh, you, you know, if you watch the one video, I already built a raised bed. So, um, can't remember what we're gonna plant in there, but we have it all planned out. Um, and then we'll put, we're gonna put raspberries right here on this side of the raised bed. And then we have all this uh, new room to plant. So for this year, I'll just uh, tilling up rows where we're gonna plant. And we'll just have to do our best to manage the grass, um, get that grass down as low as we can before I'll till it. And, uh, and then for next year, I'll cover it uh, in the fall. I'll cover it with uh, cardboard and, and leaves. I'll, I'll mulch up a bunch of leaves as well and get those on the ground too. So, But we'll do what we can for this year. Um, in retrospect, I probably should have done this in the fall or you know before the end of the season last year. But, you know, it is what it is. So we'll work with it the best we can. So, I appreciate you again watching the video if it was helpful um, you know if you think someone else could use any of the tips and tricks that I use but up the fence uh, please share the video um, if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe check out some of the other videos um, we got a lot going on here we try to share as much as we can and uh, we appreciate the time that you take to watch so oh also hit that thumbs up button that helps a whole lot too and then it's just you know you just go down underneath the video and there's a little thumbs up just just hit it just hit the thumbs up <laughs> uh anyway thanks again and until the next video god bless you and your family